Hi everyone and welcome to another episode. Today I want to discuss about the attempts made by the law to regulate AI and the principles on which such regulations must be based. And at the end of the episode we'll consider whether these attempts are sufficient to control and regulate AI. Let's get started. So last week I discussed the topic of AI and liability and this triggered a lot of responses on the various aspects of AI. But the most common conversation I had with people was about regulating AI. Now when it comes to regulating AI, there are various questions that need to be asked. Can it be done? Should it be done? And what guidelines need to be followed when regulating AI? Now I've done some research on these topics and I thought I'll share it with you today. There is a growing consensus that AI needs to be regulated for its development and to manage the risks associated with it. Leaders in the tech industry like Elon Musk have suggested that AI needs to be regulated while others feel that it's too early for AI to be regulated. Musk speaking at the US National Governors Association stated that AI is the rare case where I think we need to be proactive in regulation instead of reactive because I think by the time we are reactive in AI regulation it'll be too late. What he's saying is that the law and regulation are usually a reaction to certain events in society. By this time, some damage has already happened. But with regard to AI, he believes that this kind of reactionary thinking will be too late. Why is regulating AI necessary? Well, for example, there's something called algorithmic bias, which reinforces society's existing inequalities and may result in marginalizing societies. Now, this arises because of the data sets that are fed into the AI. Now, depending on the data sets that are fed into the AI, the AI might start to believe that some people are better than others, some people are more creditworthy than others, some people are more trustworthy than others, etc. Another example is algorithms that moderate content on social media sites might restrict freedom of speech by unfairly promoting certain content over others. AI also needs to be regulated to ensure liability for harm caused to humans. The most comprehensive and clear regulations on AI comes from the EU. On the 21st of April 2021, the EU proposed a new AI Act, which I will link in the description below if you want to have a look at it. And this chooses to regulate AI rather than providing rights to individuals. The proposal takes a risk-based approach. The higher the risk to our freedoms, the more transparent the developers have to be about how the algorithm works. The Act recognizes three types of usage of AI, that is, unacceptable risks, high risks, and low risks. The draft makes it illegal to use AI for purposes that it considers to be unacceptable risks. These include using AI for biometric recognition technologies, using AI as a system of social scoring which ranks people based on their trustworthiness, and systems that manipulate people or exploit vulnerabilities of specific groups. The medium to high risk users of AI, like using AI for resume scanning, requires a conformity assessment, which is a self-assessment which must be done by the developers prior to releasing the product into the market. And low risk users of AI is not regulated by this draft legislation for the moment. This act by the EU is being used as a blueprint by other countries, for example Brazil, as they pass their own regulations on controlling AI. Meanwhile, other organizations and institutions have developed certain principles on which AI regulation must be based, even though these haven't materialized into real laws yet. For example, the Berkman Klein Center for Internet and Society at the Harvard University published a paper in 2020 where they recognized eight themes around which AI regulation must be developed. A similar set of principles have been identified by the US government as well. The White House Office of Science and Technology Policy have identified five principles that should guide the design, use and development of automated systems to protect the American public in the age of artificial intelligence. Further, the Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence, which is a collective of countries which launched in June 2020, recognizes the need for AI to be developed in accordance with human rights and democratic values to ensure public confidence and trust in the technology. These principles identified by these organizations and institutions follow a similar pattern. They all focus on privacy, transparency, value for humans, and anti-discrimination to make AI more responsible. They also believe that there should be a human alternative 
wherever it is possible. They also call for developers to provide simple and understandable explanations on how AI works. While these themes are simple and straightforward enough, it remains to be seen how these principles can be incorporated into real law. Now at the beginning of this video, I said that I will discuss whether these attempts to regulate AI is realistic and effective. Now this comes down to a question of whether the law can keep up with the pace at which AI is developing. Now when it comes to regulating AI using law, some people suggest that this should be done using hard laws, whereas others believe that this should be done using soft laws. Hard laws are laws that are binding and once passed must be adhered to, whereas soft laws are not binding. Some experts believe that using strict or hard laws like the draft EU legislation might not be the best way to regulate AI because of the pace at which AI develops. They believe that the hard laws might find it difficult to keep up with the changes in AI. As an alternative, some legal scholars have suggested that the better way to control and regulate AI would be through soft laws which are far more flexible and therefore can keep up with the AI. But of course there is a question of whether these soft laws can be enforced. So what do you think? Do you think AI needs to be regulated or do you think we need to give AI more space for it to grow? And do you think it's even possible to regulate AI using traditional laws? Let me know what you think. Anyway, that's been it for this episode. Do consider subscribing and pressing that like button if you enjoy this content and want to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.